difficulty breathing. Ugh. Great flick. Short. Fucking awesome. It's 40 minutes. And it's brought to you by Guy. The same crazy motherfucker behind the rope maiden. Another awesome short flick. Watch that review. Um, difficulty breathing. Despite the cover, it is not a fucking shitty bondage BDSM movie. This is an actual movie with a fucking story, good acting, all that jazz. So don't let the cover misconstrue it. I am so glad it's not one of those fucking movies. Um, basically, this here, it follows the mental decay, downward spiral of well-being of this woman who gets fucking dummied by some cocksucker, just fucking beat the fuck, abused horribly, and she says, fuck it, that's enough of peopling, and just locks herself in her apartment. It started off a little slow, but then as things start to change in her psyche and you see her starting to break down, it, the movie gets pretty claustrophobic, rather bleak, and I fucking loved every second of it. When she really snaps and starts seeing the shadow monster dancing on the wall and everything, that was one highlight to the movie. The second highlight was the fetus. Just like I said in the Rope Maiden review, I've got a soft spot, or some would say a hard spot for fetus destruction. Uh, and this one delivered on that as well. Um, it's a limited release. This is 26 of 100. I hope it gets another release so more people can witness this mayhem. Uh, <coughs> there's a making of on the, on the disc as well. I haven't made it to the extras yet. Uh, hopefully I'll get to that in the next couple of days. But I just really want to catch up on a bunch of fucking movies. Um, uh, yeah, Guy Pierce, or Guy S. Fragments, Sculpting Fragments would be the, uh, store name, I believe. Go fucking look them up. Get this movie. The Rope Maiden is getting another, it will be available soon, a couple of weeks on his web store. He told me, seven fucking bucks, fucking get that. Hopefully Difficulty Breathing will be available again soon. The chick that's in this... I don't know her name. I don't know if that's it. Shozin Fukui or Fuck You I. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, that's another thing with this flick. It starts off with great big fucking letters. Play it loud. Do what it says. There's not a lot of dialogue, but the sound adds to the tension in the movie. It makes you feel uneasy. It makes you wonder what's creeping behind your fucking... Curtains. That's what they're called. The soundtrack was fucking great. It did its job and it did it very fucking well difficulty breathing sculpting fragments not a bondage movie but an actual fucking movie support this man fucking get it stay fucking sleazy peace out motherfuckers